Parking and traffic, two of the biggest threats to dull the excitement of a big game day. And fans in Norman feeling it tonight. Thanks for staying up with us. I'm Morgan Chesky. OSU Cowboys going toe to toe tonight with, until the last second with the defending national champs. We do have team coverage from Arlington tonight. But first, we head to Norman. KFCO's Ariana Garza live there, where she braved conditions right alongside those fans. And Ariana, how do those roads look where you are now? Well, Morgan, we're out here on I-35 between Norman and Oklahoma City. You can see there's still plenty of fans making the drive home. Traffic has been moving pretty slowly, but good news, no standstills. It's been going through pretty steadily. And fans say the biggest obstacle they faced today, despite the traffic, was parking. Game day parking is crazy. OU fans say any amount of money and time on their feet is worth seeing their Sooners play. We paid $20 to park, and we walked about... About a 25 minute walk. We actually walked about three blocks today. Here, but we walked, what, probably about a mile and a half to where we're at right now just to get a drink. Since parking is no longer allowed between Jenkins Avenue and Class and Boulevard on game days, it turned out to be a long day of dodging road closures while hunting for even the smallest spot to park in. A cash cow for homeowners with large front yards near the stadium. I average about three to four hundred dollars uh, a game day. And the fans who parked next to these signs. Had a nasty surprise waiting for them after the game. Now, if you plan to come out to the next game out here in Norman, it's a good idea to get here in the early afternoon or even in the morning to get a good, cheap, and convenient parking spot. Live in Norman, Ariana Garza, KOCO 5 News.